This is a H160 pulse width modifier installation. This pulse width modifier comes with a duty cycle indicator. We don't need that, so we'll throw that away. It has a reverse polarity. In the center position, it's off, so make sure it's on either one side or the other. These two wires here went directly to the electrolyzer. The electrolyzer is a 28 volts DC. So then you change the terminals and it goes to the pulse width modifier. I have the pulse width modifier secured with goop. The unit comes with an amp gauge, but I didn't like the amp gauge, so I got a Hall Effect digital amp gauge. I've added the terminals to it, and it piggybacks the 28 volt connections going up to the pulse width modifier. You just piggyback them on there, it takes 28 volts. I made a holder for it out of quarter eighth inch plexiglass and it had to cut out the center with a Dremel tool.